Hi, I'm David Jacob, the Regional Science Coordinator at Putnam Northern Westchester BOCES and the Coordinator for the Science 21 program. Today I'm going to read a book from our Science 21 curriculum for Grade 1, Unit 3. The book is titled Survival Safari by Danielle Colasante, Jill Moore, and Jen Teichman. This book is aligned to the New York State P-12 Science Learning Standards for Structure, Function, and Information Processing. Survival Safari. What do you think this book may be about? Hmm. Let's find out together. In this book, we will be investing anim investigating animals in three different environments. Hot, dry environment, cold, harsh environment, and a seasonal forest environment. Today we're going on a safari. We will travel to several different environments and see lots of animals. While on our trip, we will take brain pictures of all the animals we see. When you see a student with a camera, remember to take a picture. On our first stop, we will visit a hot, dry environment. There are several types of animals that live here. Many animal parents help their offspring survive. Let's take a look. Wow, I see a rhinoceros, elephants, and lions. How are these parents helping their offspring survive? Hmm, what is this animal parent trying to do? And this animal parent. And this animal parent. The rhinoceros parent is teaching its offspring to find grass and leaves to eat. The elephant parent is teaching its offspring to use its trunk to find leaves to eat. The lion parent teaches its offspring to hunt prey to eat. What patterns do we see? Hmm. Look at these animals now. How are these parents helping their offspring survive? This is the rhinoceros parent and offspring the elephant parent and offspring, and the lion parent and offspring. Take a brain picture. The rhinoceros parent is leading its offspring and protecting it from danger. The adult rhinoceros will use its horn to scare off predators. The elephant parent is guarding its offspring to protect it from predators. The lion parent is watching for predators to keep its offspring safe from harm. What patterns do you see? What patterns in animal parent behavior help their offspring to survive? Let's take a brain picture. The next stop on our survival safari will be to a cold, harsh environment. How do animal parents help their offspring to survive here? Let's take a look. Check out the penguins, caribou, and arctic foxes. What do you see the parents doing for their offspring? Take a brain picture. The penguin father is feeding its offspring. The father carries fish from the ocean in his stomach. The father regurgitates the fish for its offspring to eat. The caribou teaches the calf to paw through the snow and graze for plants. The arctic fox feeds the offspring with milk that the mother produces. What patterns do you see in these parents and offspring? Look at these animals and animal parents and offspring now. What do you see? Here's the penguin parent and offspring. Do you see the little offspring right here? Here's a caribou offspring. And this is a den where the arctic foxes live. Don't forget to take a brain picture. The emperor penguin protects its offspring from cold winters. 
the caribou migrate with their offspring to find shelter from cold weather and new plants to eat. The arctic fox protects its offspring in a den dug in the ground. The fox will also take shelter in the den during severe weather. What patterns do you see? What patterns in animal parent behavior help their offspring to survive? Don't forget to take a brain picture. Our final stop will be on the seasonal forest environment. This environment may look familiar to you. How do animal parents help their offspring to survive here? Let's take a look. Amazing! I see bears, birds, and deer. What do you notice the parent doing for the offspring? Here is a bear parent and bear offspring, a bird parent and bird offspring. This is an American robin. And here is a deer parent and deer offspring. Don't forget to take a brain picture. The black bear parent catches fish for its offspring to eat. The bird parent brings its food to the baby chicks. The deer parent shows its offspring where to find grass and other plants to eat. What patterns do you see of these animal parents and offspring? Look at these animals now. What do you see? Here's an offspring bear in the tree. Here is a parent, bird parent, and bird offspring right down here. And here is a deer with its tail upright. Don't forget to take a brain picture. The offspring bear cries to alert its mother that they are in danger. The offspring birds make chirping sounds to tell their mother that they are hungry. The offspring deer raises its tail to warn the other deer of danger nearby. What patterns do you see in these animals? What patterns in animal parent and offspring behavior help the animal survive? Don't forget to take a brain picture. Our trip now takes us back to the classroom. Did you enjoy your survival safari? In all the environments we visited, we saw patterns of animal behavior that helped the offspring survive. We observed parents providing food or teaching their offspring to find food to survive. We saw parent protect, parents protecting their offspring from weather and predators. We observed animal offspring communicating their needs to their parent. Where do you see animals helping offspring survive in your neighborhood? Thinking about our trip, how can human parents help their offspring survive? What may this offspring be communicating to its parents?